Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video we started looking at working with concentrations of solutions. In this video we're going to take those ideas further. Remember that we work out the concentration of a solution using this equation. The concentration in moles per decimeter cubed equals the amount of substance in moles divided by the volume in decimeters cubed. Now in all of the questions we've seen so far the amount of substance in moles was given in the question. However in the exam you may have to calculate this yourself. Here's a sample question. 111.9 grams of potassium chloride was dissolved in water, producing a solution with a final volume of 0.5 decimeters cubed. Calculate the concentration of the solution. As you can see, we've been given the mass of potassium chloride, but not the amount of substance in moles. So we've got to work that out first. The formula of potassium chloride is KCl. This tells us that potassium chloride has one atom of potassium and one atom of chlorine. If you look at your A-level periodic table, you can see that the relative atomic mass of potassium is 39.1 and the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. Adding these together gives us a value of 74.6 for the relative formula mass of potassium chloride. This means that the molar mass of potassium chloride is 74.6 grams per mole. Now we saw in a previous video that we can calculate the amount of substance in moles using this equation. The amount of substance in moles equals the mass divided by the molar mass. Dividing 111.9 by 74.6 tells us that we've got 1.5 moles of potassium chloride. To calculate the concentration, we divide the amount of substance in moles by the volume. Dividing 1.5 moles by 0.5 decimeters cubed gives us a concentration of 3 moles per decimeter cubed. And that's our final answer. Coming up, I'll give you some questions to try yourself. OK, here's a question for you to try. 55.62 grams of magnesium iodide was dissolved in water. The final volume of the solution was 0.4 decimeters cubed. Calculate the concentration of the solution. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we need to calculate the amount of substance in moles of magnesium iodide in our solution. The formula of magnesium iodide is MgI2. So this chemical has one atom of magnesium and two atoms of iodine. Looking at the periodic table, we can see that the relative atomic mass of magnesium is 24.3 and the relative atomic mass of iodine is 126.9. This means that the relative formula mass of magnesium iodide is 278.1. From this, we know that the molar mass of magnesium iodide is 278.1 grams per mole. We've got 55.62 grams of magnesium iodide in our solution. Dividing 55.62 by 278.1 tells us that we have 0.2 moles of magnesium iodide. To calculate the concentration, we divide the amount of substance in moles by the volume. Dividing 0.2 moles by 0.4 decimeters cubed gives us a concentration of 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. And that's our final answer. Here's one more question for you. 21.25 grams of sodium nitrate was dissolved in water. The final volume of the solution was 125 centimeters cubed. Calculate the concentration of the solution. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, so first we need to calculate the amount of substance in moles. Looking at the formula, we can see that sodium nitrate has one atom of sodium, one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of oxygen. The relative atomic mass of sodium is 23.0. The relative atomic mass of nitrogen is 14.0. And the relative atomic mass of oxygen is 16.0. This gives us a relative formula mass of 85.0. From this, we know that the molar mass is 85.0 grams per mole. Dividing 21.25 by 85.0 tells us that we've got 0.25 moles of sodium nitrate. To calculate the concentration, we divide the amount of substance in moles by the volume in decimeters cubed. In the question, the volume is given in centimetres cubed. To convert this to decimetres cubed, we need to divide by 1000. This gives us a volume of 0.125 decimetres cubed. Dividing 0.25 moles by 0.125 decimetres cubed gives us a final concentration of 2 moles per decimetre cubed. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to carry out calculations based on concentration. Mm -hmm. 